I'm gonna go somewhere nicer. First the no, no. Well, that's a bit interesting, isn't it? Look at the purple. I do love that castle. Can I have that castle? <laughs> How much for your castle? So today I'm gonna go house hunting <laughs> because I've been absent from Elder Scrolls, but my membership kept taking money out and I just realized, um, and I've come back because I'm in a bit of a low place at the moment, mentally, and um, don't worry, I'm rebuilding, rebuilding myself, everything's gonna be fine. I'm looking for the future. I just need to sit in this moment. I'm not going to turn this video, <laughs> this Elder Scrolls video, into a mental health video. Um, obviously, I take mental health very seriously, so um, that's why I'm going to play Elder Scrolls today and do nothing else. But yeah, the point of all that was that my crowns have been growing in size, and um, I have enough money to buy a house. So, I've just come to Somerset because I wanted a bit of sun. I don't know. It was really dark and cloudy in the other place and it was a bit gross. So anyway, why not come with me today and look for houses? <laughs> God knows I can't buy one in Sydney. They're way too bloody expensive. Uh, never in my life will I be able to get a house in Sydney. Oh, look at that water. It's so gorge. Hello, dear. That waterfall is just gorge. Right, I'm going to perch myself around here. Do a bit of a yoga meditation on the rock. Come on. Well, that's just lovely. Okay, we're gonna sit here. Someone's yelling. You right, babe? Don't ask me for help. I'm busy today. Doing some house hunting. I don't want any comments about my character or doing things wrong because I don't play it for those reasons. Um, I've put 900 hours into it so far, but that's over like two years, two or three years. And, um, and I've only just come back after like eight months because I get gaming guilt. So it's hilarious when I come back, I look at all my stuff and I'm like, I'm so powerful, but I forget how to use all of it. So <laughs> I go and fight things for a while so I can remember what my spells do and stuff. All right, let's have a look at some houses. So I've never had a house before in Elder Scrolls and um, it's a bit intimidating because then I'm like, I gotta furnish it and it costs money and all that stuff. And I don't like putting too much real money into the game. I just have the membership that sort of rolls over every month. I did notice this snow glow, but if I'm gonna have a look in there, it looks enchanting. So I'm gonna leave that for like when we get to some of the other houses because I know that it's, we're gonna look at these and then it's gonna be like, oh, that looks crap. I'm gonna quickly sort of go through all of them and the ones that I like, I'm gonna write down on a piece of paper in front of me and um, rate them out of like five or something. Cause there's just too many to remember. My working memory is not that great. Let's go have a look at Auden's Gate. All right, we're at Auden's Gate. And uh, let's have a look at the outside. I like this plant, that's very nice. I wish it was sunny. Everything looks a bit better in the sun, but that's okay, we'll take that into, oh, it's symmetrical plants. I like that, I like a bit of symmetry. Not too much space to put other things, but that's okay. See, I don't know if I want like a big house because then you've got to fill, fill it with more stuff, but also if you invite friends over, and I don't really have friends in the game because I'm, I'm really social in real life, but on online games, very not social. It's weird, I get anxiety online. Um, but in real life, I have complete confidence. But like when my pretend friends come over and stuff, uh, it's very impressive because like, oh, you got a big house. But like, if it's not furnished properly, it's like, this is an empty house. Kind of feels like, you know, a big mansion that you live alone in, very sad. Um, a fireplace is definitely a necessity for me. I love fire. This house, it's, um, it's a bit small. There's uh, no rooms, just this one room, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, okay, um, probably not gonna note this one down. We'll go find another. I do like it well lit, uh, so windows are nice. And I like sort of open feeling open plan, open space. We're in a barbed hook, barbed hook, private room. It's hard to say barbed hook, barbed hook, barbed hook. <laughs> Sounds like Bob took something. Bob took my virginity. It's like when you say beer can and um, you can make it sound Jamaican. But a beer can, man. <laughs> beer can, beer can, beer can. <laughs> Do you want the beer can, man? Um, okay, so this is very claustrophobic. Is this? leave home. This is all it is? No, that can't be it, right? How much was this place? Ah, oh, 600. Okay, yeah, yeah, fair. Um, this is a no. Going to the Black Vine Villa. I think I've looked at this one. Ah, oh, is that stairs in the background? Is that a rising staircase? 
Oh, yes, I do remember this one. I put this on my messenger story this morning. I was looking at houses, and then I was like, I should record this. But this one I really like, and it's reminded me why. I love the nature. Um, I like being surrounded by trees and nature in my home, and the natural plantations. So we've got some mushies, we've got some reds and purples, lots of greens. I like the moss. The rain is quite poetic now. I don't know, I'm a high elf, so I want to live in, like, in a high elf sort of feeling place. And these big doors are definitely something. You invite your friends over and they're just like, wow, that is a door. Gonna have a look at the inside though. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad. It feels a bit more open than the other one. And I do kind of like that, like, these are pseudo rooms in a way. They're not real rooms, but everything's open. So it's, I don't know, I just get, uh, I get lost in my own house in real life. I just do not have the brain for locations. And I do blame Google Maps in a way, but I also blame myself. Um, anyway, not important. So I like the fireplace. But yeah, the inside, it's its good. I would like something a little bit bigger, I think, in case I want to expand. I mean, moving out would be a problem, I think. It takes a lot, probably take a whole day's worth of grabbing my items and putting them in somewhere else. So it'd be good to have a place where I can grow. But this place, I'm definitely going to write down. I'm just going to go back outside because it is cute. I mean, it can be maybe like a beach house, like a home away from home. It's a really beach house, but like a forest, wizard in the forest sort of thing, like Gandalf's friend. I forget his name, but he lives in the forest in The Hobbit. Um, okay. What was it called? Black Vine Villa. So you can't see, but I'm just writing it down right now. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna write small, but lovely. And then in brackets, like green brush um, and fantasy vibes. I'm just going to underline small because it's small. Okay. And like, I know I have way more crowns in this, but like, I don't just want to go all crazy and go to the very expensive ones first and stuff. Cause like I said, if it's too big, then I'm probably going to feel a bit overwhelmed. Um, let's go to Captain Margot's place. I don't like it when it's named after someone, like it's their place. Can they evict me later if they come back? Like, where did they go? I read like the description of one house before and it said the dude committed suicide or something or he ran away. Um, I mean, those are two very different things. I think he ran away. But like, if he comes back, what, and it's my place, it's Kane's place. It just takes a bit of that personal feeling away. I hate this, this is so small. Um, all right, I can see why you left Captain Margot. Um, all right, the jungle house. All right, tick in the box for the plantations and the greenery. And it's cute, what's outside? It's like joined onto something, or I'm just a city gal living very close to the city. That is prized property right there. Very good uh, resale value. <laughs> okay. So I like this space out here. I can put something here and I like the details of these stones. Definitely has like a more invitational feel. It's more approachable. Like if you were just around, like if you were lost at sea, shipwrecked, everyone died, you've walked up to this property seeking help. You walk in, you go, my God, this has, this is, this must be a really cool quirky dude, like a wizard or something who lives in the forest, like Gandalf's friend in The Hobbit. But you would walk up to here and say, okay, well maintained, I like the wood, it looks fresh and new. So he's probably like a nice guy, maybe educated. Um, oh, okay, it's very, very, very small. You'd walk in and walk straight out, I think. You'd be like, I'll find help elsewhere. That is tiny. This man can't help me, he spent all the money on the outside. All right, well, that's good to know. Let's see what we have next. Flaming, I'm gonna skip this one because this, this one was a 600 crowns, it was tiny. Um, and I think like if they're about 600 crowns, they don't really have an outside area and I definitely want an outside area. I mean, I've already been stuck inside since the beginning of COVID. So I don't wanna, I wanna have an opportunity to go outside, maybe sunbathe on my private property. Let's go to Hammerdeath Bungalow. Hammerdeath, not an exciting name. Reminds me of like hammerhead sharks. I don't like sharks. All right, I don't like this. When you spawn in a home, usually it means there's no outside. This one's not a good one for me. Humble, <laughs> humble mud. A mud house is a constant reminder of the impermanence of life and that we are but standing waves in the river of existence. I love that. 
but one still wishes it to look nice and comfortable and decorates accordingly, of course. Yes, of course. Wow. Leave home. Oh, okay, there is a courtyard. Okay, it's very small on the inside. This is cute. I like the stone. Makes me feel like I'm in the mountains. Um, I like this. This little fire. This little... I wouldn't buy the house because of it, but... Oh, I do like these. They're quite nice. Like, fire pops. Yeah, if I can get a mix of, like, maybe some nature on the outside, as well as this sort of rocky mountainous feel, that'd be good. Yeah, sort of like Avatar Last Airbender. Buddhist monk in the mountains. At a monastery. But I excelled at the monastery slash became the final form of my avatarness, and now I'm an incredible wizard who has my own place, and I teach people from my mud house. It's not going to be the mud house though. Bit too small. All right, Kragenholm. This residence might not be in the best neighbourhood. Is that what it just said? <laughs> okay, I've spawned inside. Leave home. There's no other doors, is there? This is a no. I love this, though. Is it hot? I don't know if anyone will know this reference. I'm not sure which demographic is watching my videos. But if anyone has seen The House Bunny with... Um, oh, what's her name? She was in the scary movies and she was dating... Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Chris... Uh, not Hemsworth. Um, the dude out of... Um, oh, I told you my working memory's terrible. Um... Oh my god, just give me a second, he stop running around. The dude out of Guardians of the Galaxy, Chris, someone. Um, I don't really pay attention to movies. But uh, the house bunny, this is a really funny scene where she walks over this air vent. She's trying to be really sexy. She walks over and she's like posing and then the air vent goes off and she's like, God, that's fucking hot! <laughs> and her face afterwards is hilarious. But no, this is a no-go for me. I'm gonna veto. Veto, veto, veto. Did it, what did it say? Might not be in the best neighbourhood. Yeah, that's that's definitely a red flag for me. Burgled robberies, vigilantes, and um, just crazy kids. Moonmouth House. Small elevated house on an idyllic plantation. I like that. In the mild and hospitable climb of Kanathi's Roost? Question mark? <laughs> is it or isn't it? This one would find that sweet paradise. All right. Show me paradise. Oh, okay, there's some really nice things about this. Don't get me started. Um, but yeah, just one room, no outside. I'm not liking that, very claustrophobic. I do like the green, I don't know if it is green or if it's the, the lighting, but either way, it has like this sort of royal regal feel about it. Um, I've been watching The Crown lately, so I'm very into the royals. Um, I like the gold trim on everything and this sort of interesting pattern on the door. I don't know, up close it looks a bit ugly. It looks like rusted iron, but from far away, kind of looks like leather. Um, pleather we would use in this house, though. So. Yeah, no. Okay, now that I've seen it up close, I sort of can't unsee that it's a bit gross up close. I don't know, that rusted iron look. We're not living by the docks. <laughs> We ain't no sailor. A bit scared of the ocean. Gonna skip this one, Sisters of the Sand. Snug pod. Looks pretty cute. Snuggle pot and cuddle pie. Okay. No, no outside, so it's a no, but nice feeling. These egg alien vibes are vibing. Kind of reminds me of those pods in um, Arrival. That is a really good movie. You should see Arrival. The, the beautiful thing about Arrival, and I'll be very quick on this, is that um, it's all about language and, and the limitations that language imposes on our brains. Um, very interesting, I love brains. I did a neuroscience degree, so I happen to love brains just a bit. I've held a human brain before. Very surreal experience. I was like, whose brain is this? Um, and she was like, don't ask questions, just tell me where the parts are. And I was like, uh, it's just one big pink mush. It's actually quite heavy, the human brain. What's the next one? Twin arches, here we go there. Okay, so this is all right. I do like this sort of sunroof, this recess. I don't know what to call it, but that, that's cute. And the light coming in and it's reflected down here. Could sit here and tan if I put a nice 
little cushion down or something like that. And you've gone to this one, just like a little kitty cat in the sunlight. And, oh, you get a cat. If I can come home and there's like a cat nesting somewhere, maybe not nesting, um, but if I can just have a cat lazing around, that would be super homely. Cat, fireplace, maybe running water feature. Okay, so this is okay. Um, okay, I remember now. Um, one, I don't like being next to this sort of really awesome gold looking palace thing. It makes me feel very small and cheap over here. But most importantly, I don't like the rocks. Like it's, I know it's, it's not really mountainous feel. It's just rocks in the desert feel. And the desert doesn't give me good vibes. It gives me lost, alone, isolated, looking for help, SOS. You're gonna die out here. Okay, so twin arches, that was okay, but I'm not gonna write it down. Okay, we're gonna move on to some places I haven't seen before because they were too expensive before, so. Um, oh, this is quite nice. I love the mushrooms. This big mushroom in the corner in particular is giving me something. If you ever get hungry, you just come out and take a bit of a bite. And you go, Mwah. check out this. I love my, I was going to leave it on, but it makes this buzzing noise. And I thought my headphones were playing up before and I was like, oh, I'm just about to record. But, um, yeah, it looks cool, but it buzzes. The mushrooms are cool. These little pods are cool. Uh, they kind of look like an ant or termite infestation though, so I'm not happy about that. I like this well here. There's a door there and there is a door here. I like these lights. But this is huge. This is quite nice. This is giving me more in the Shire vibes, like living in the Shire, Bilbo Baggins' house. Don't tempt me, Freda. My bum is sore, so I'm just gonna put a cushion underneath my tushion. You know when you get the feeling like your arm's about to cramp? Because it's in a weird position. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm all set up. Okay, so we're doing the inside of this house. Okay, initial reaction. I like the signs. It feels secure in my mind, spatially. Um, it's not too big, not too overwhelming. I don't feel like I'd have to learn it. Oh, I like that these are separate rooms. Can you do refurb <laughs> construction in Elder Scrolls? If I can take down this wall, that'd be cool. Make like a really big room. Cause then this could be like the living area and this could be um, just the, the grand entrance. This fireplace under here is giving me a little bit of anxiety. Like that wood is gonna catch, it's a fire hazard. All right, I'll do some oh and regulations when I come back. So the upstairs is pretty cute. I know it's a little thing, but I don't really like... Oh, I was going to say, I don't really like how you go up here and then you have to go up another set of stairs and there's not this sort of bigger level in between. But, I mean, you can put some cute statues here. Or maybe like a yoga mat. I don't know. Um... Oh, it's got a balcony. So the upstairs is nice. Um, they used to give me cobweb vibes. I don't know if they're meant to be cobwebs. But I don't like that. It's a bit suffocating. Oh, once again, I've got a candle fire. So many fire hazards. Let's look at the balcony. Oh, so this is cute. Oh, I love the water. Yeah, harborside. I love that. Have a bit of the trees. You do feel not like you're in the mountains, but you're up high. I like that. Looking down on everyone. <laughs> my peasants. Where are my subordinates? Come, come to the village and feed me, feed me grapes. Um, can't jump off, so suicide is a no-go here. A bit disappointing. But also you can have a great drunk bash out here with all your friends, all your mates. No one's going to accidentally suicide, so friendly fire's off. Well, that would be if I push someone, I guess, but suicide's off. I'm going to stop saying that word. Um, yeah, so it's, it's okay. I do... I do like it. I like it from the outside too. It looks big, but inside it's not huge. And there was a downstairs area that I need to check out. Yeah, so this is pretty cute as well. Like, I like that it's small. Because um, I don't want to come down to a cellar and it's a huge cellar. It's very sort of Game of Thrones. Cersei walking down to her torture chamber vibes and I'm not for that here. We are a vegan friendly, well, I don't know about vegan. I used to be vegan, it was a, 
was vegan for five years. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. I have this invisibility spell. But yeah, I used to be vegan for five years, but I've talked about that in the past. But yeah, it'll, it, like, it'll be pleather. It'll be like um, no torture. No, no crimes against humanity can happen in my house. I think that's sort of a given for most houses. And if it's not, um, well, I mean, Trump's president, so anything's possible. Okay, so this is the second one I'm writing down. Alb. Belothy dot dot dot. And I'm just gonna say like medium sized. I'm gonna say um by the water mm, bushy. <laughs> it's not really bushy, but I'll understand what that means. That's right, lots of work to be done to prevent Fire. All right, we'll look at the next. When I first played this, I really got into uh, marketing. Um, marketing, is that the word? Um, just sort of like buying um, things for low and selling for high. So I guess more like, I don't know, stocks or something. Um, but like with items, I'm sure there's a better word for it. I'm not really good at business, I'm a scientist. Um, but I ended up getting like, 100k when I first started within like a month and just by myself and as a first time player so I think that was pretty good um, I know that some people are crazy good at it and can earn heaps of money um, but I was using the money manager add-on and joined a guild and you know went and um, farmed items found good farming locations and I'd buy low sell high and um, yeah I was pretty proud of my profits I haven't got back into it but I did spend a lot of it when I came back to the game and um, subsided the marketing aspect. So there was a net loss and I'm at about 50k now. This is really nice stone. And the floors. I really like the floors. I like how they're reflective. It's like a marble. I don't like how it didn't take me outside so I'm assuming... No, I won't assume. There probably is an outside, maybe a balcony. But I do like there being an outside and a balcony. Like you can go downstairs. This marble and the size of these rooms is quite perfect. It's giving me like, you know, rich but humble. And that's what I'm going for along with the whole human crime thing. Uh, three rooms. That's a lot to fill. I love the staircase. Ah, oh, and then it switches up here to wood. I love wooden floorboards. Oh my God, there's a second staircase. Okay. Yeah, this is cute. Look down on everyone. No friends allowed up here, just me. So I can come up and be like, yeah, I'm higher than you. So I got the red eyes. Okay. Someone left a barrel when they moved out. That's not cool. You should take all your items. I don't want the disgusting barrel in my home. And the placement of this is very interesting. I get that it's centre to that, but it's not really centre to the room. Um, and if it's not centre, it needs symmetry and there's no symmetry. Um, or asymmetry, but there should be more than one. Like, I would put this maybe, like, here, and then another one will probably there. But if you wanted it to be asymmetrical... Jesus, stop making those weird sounds, man. Um, I'll give him some little power. Come on. But if it was asymmetrical, probably one there. Maybe one in this corner, get rid of the barrel. Um, okay, so... Where are the stairs? I don't think... Where are the fucking stairs? Oh, um, I don't think there is an outside... Or I've missed a door. If I've missed a door, let me know in the comments. So, oh, I did miss a door. It's all right, I'll comment on myself. Terrace, okay. Wow, wow, okay, this is quite nice. Oh, I love the blue. This is very Somerset, is it Somerset? No, Eleanor, Eleanor. I love this and I can hear the sound of running water. This is really beautiful. Um, this is ticking a lot of boxes. Mmm, mmm. Lots of natural diffuse sunlight, but if I put maybe some lavender over here, it'll grow really nicely in the Mediterranean climate. Um, I hope no hooligans can jump up on there and come into my home. It does look well barbed though. Uh, well protected, quite a fortified fortress. Okay, so this water feature's nice. Um, are there any other doors or anything? This is the problem, as it gets bigger, and this is why Oh my god, is that like Bond's No, Kind of look like Bond's eye, but this is beautiful. Looks like we've had a landscaper here. And why wouldn't you? I mean, if you're going to put this much effort into the house, the marble, the white stone, it's very rich. Probably have a gardener as well that would come around and trim everything. So I've got to leave uh, money for utilities. <laughs> I need a gardener. 
and a maid. So yeah, this is really nice. So I'm gonna write this down. Um, location, Somerset. Okay, yeah, it is Somerset. So that's good because that's where my peeps are. That's where the high elves are. So I'm gonna Eleanor Cress. It's gonna write, um, big but not suffocating so there's room for growth in this one i feel like before like i feel i'd have to grow quite a bit before i'd have to move out um trees and colors water feature included in price and um, like tall, um, like alt good altitude, good altitude, three level brackets plus terrace. Okay, that's a lot for a fake house in a game. Okay, but like there's so many houses and I've already, I already tried yesterday looking at some and I just got so confused with which I'd seen and which I hadn't seen. Let's look at the lake lodge. Okay, this is nice. I love the big mushrooms. There is, they're not joking here. <laughs> I like this sort of bridge entrance, which means there's probably some water. Yay, go for a little swim when I get hot. I've got my friends over for a little swim. I do like that, actually, now that I've tried that. None of the other houses have had a swimming area. And if you're having a fight with your partner, you swim in this section and I'll, I'll go to the other section. I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm too big to fit there. How embarrassing. Uh, it's just nice to be single and live by myself. You know, I'm actually really enjoying it. Like in real life. <laughs> um, okay, but in the game, um, we'll go back. It's a cool little storehouse. You know what? That's a great idea, actually. It's like a modern garage. You can just put junk out here. It does leave room for hoarding though, but I like that it's not too big, but um, big enough to put a bunch of crap that you don't need. And once that fills, it's kind of a regulator. Once that fills, you know you're gonna throw out some stuff. I like the rocks, <laughs> sort of natural landscape feel of it. Um, I love the well. Ooh, I like, we'll go up there in a sec, but I like that. And this is really cool actually, that it leads out um, to water. I'm not gonna leave, but I like that it goes out into my own, I can pretend that's my own sort of jetty, get a boat or a jet ski or something, go crazy. Like, imagine, yeah, if you're inviting your friends over, you've got to come see my new home, man. Like, it's got eight story high mushrooms, it leads out to water, I've got a jet ski and we can go around the harbour and stuff. And um, yeah, it's really cute. So you've got to come visit. Okay, this outside bit. It's like a viewing area. It's a shame that it's not higher up. I think I'd like to feel a bit higher in my viewing area, but there might be another one. I guess, like, I don't know what I'd put here. I actually don't like this. Because, like, I don't... I'd never come here because I just don't really feel the need to. I get everything from the outside. Like, everything I can see here, I sort of get from down there. These bars don't really help. Um, but if I left it empty, then people would judge me and I would judge myself. I don't like having an empty area. So I feel the obligation to fill it, but I don't want to fill it. So I'm not a big fan of that now. Um, if it was higher up, maybe. Okay, where's the entrance? That is the entrance, yep. All right, let's have a look at the lodge. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Ceilings are a bit low. Um, okay, this is a very claustrophobic area. The hell do I put mine here? Maybe a fire. <laughs> this game loves to put fire under wood. Okay, so... Yeah, not too big. It's not small. These are the ceilings I'm talking about. See, like you could have like taken some inches off that and like moved this up and at least created higher ceilings down here, but that's all right. So it's got a terrace. We'll see if the terrace is not... No, I just don't like the bars. Like, they sort of obstruct the view. Okay, we're going a bit higher. Ooh. I mean, I, I already think I don't want this one just because of some of the other things I've mentioned. It also feels a bit um, damp inside. Very damp. There's so many doors. It's a lot of doors and a lot of stairs to get to a place that I'm not super happy with. This is a suicide hazard. There, this, <laughs> that is a problem. <laughs> okay, no, I don't like this house. It has not passed regulations and this audit is done. That's a shame, it does have a lot of things I like. Oh, no, no, I almost bought the, <laughs> I 
almost bought the snow globe. Okay, so... Vol the three refuge. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the bone door. Um, no, I just... No, I don't really like this whole two pod situation either. It's like, which one is the inside? Which one's the outside? Which one's your house? Which one's not your house? Um, there's also a lot of opportunities to like be running and not looking and you fall off and it's just annoying. Um, it's probably going to be small on the inside too. Oh, it's a tent. <laughs> There's such disgust, that sound. And it's these eggs. I like the eggs, but uh, just, uh, I don't like, listen. <laughs> it's like a tent. You part the doors. I don't like that. I don't feel secure at all. All right, cliff shade. Cliff shade looks nice. It looks modern. I don't like that there's not an outside entrance to the home. These are things we've already talked about. I'm not a fan of this at all. Very small. Um, fireplace is the only redeeming factor, but otherwise, this is a no-go. Oh, two fireplaces? Three fireplaces. Still a no. Dawn Shadow. Do you ever go to teleport and then you want to run around because you're bored, but you cancel the teleportation? Yeah. This is never what the inside of the house looks like, I've discovered, because they get all excited and then it's very disappointing. But that loot, see the loot next to the two golden cups? I do like that. The goblet. I like this outside. It's sunny now, which is really beautiful. So funny, because it's a really beautiful sunny day in Australia and I'm <laughs> appreciating the sunny day inside a game. Bloody millennials, go outside and play. Um, I can't, and there's a global pandemic. So I like the gold trim, that's a plus. The house is very cute, very Weasley. Weasley's house, um, with a bit more structure. These pillars are awesome. Could put, um, some things out here, like, uh, like a little a deck chair, maybe a barbecue. Um, and you can have parties with your friends, like, dancing, dancing. I don't know how to do emotes. Can you do emotes? I'm just holding down some buttons. Nope. Um, but yeah, a little bit of dancing around here. Um, and then uh, the sound will travel out and people will be like, oh, it's like Great Gatsby in there. It sounds so cool. <clears throat> I just watched the Kardashian episode of Chris's 60th. And um, they had like Great Gatsby sort of theme and it was so awesome. Um, and Chloe was so drunk. Okay, so this is nice. Yeah, very royal feel. I like reds and golds. That's really nice. Stairs are really cool. I don't know what it is about them. I think they're just really wide. And I like that they're wooden. No fire under them. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's just not giving me all the vibes I want. I'm not getting much natural light, nature, like oversaturated green vibes. It looks like we're in a... looks like Australia, actually. Like everything's living, but barely... Um, because the sun is so hot, so it's going to become uninhabitable in a few years. Where does that bridge go? Yeah, I feel a bit lonely out here. This is a no-go. Domus Frat... How many more do I have? Holy shit, that is so many houses. I might skip a few. Actually, no, I, I, I can't skip because... It's just a part of my personality where I'm like, what if there's something better that I haven't looked at? So I'm sorry if this is going to be a long video, but I'll do my best. I'm going to try and just be quicker because we know now um, what I like and don't like. So I'll just do a quick run through and see if it's a, a check or a, a veto. All right, we're teleporting. Oh, I love that green, sort of emerald green, spacious outside. I'm starting to feel like I like more of um, grass on the outside and more of a like that the big mushroom place had those really organic um, sort of really green plants and other stuff I'm running out of words to describe but you know what I mean um, this is really small why is it so small okay ah, it's still small no I don't like that but yeah I like um, the outside to be maybe just as big as the house if not a little bit bigger because it just feels less claustrophobic. I think I'm just really over quarantined. <laughs> I've been stuck inside my own house. Hang on, I need to think for a sec. Where am I? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm just um, really sick of being inside and I want to, I don't know, at least feel like I'm not in quarantine inside the game as well. I don't know. It's more of a feeling. It's just what's a feeling that... Okay. 
So this is bigger, but it's not giving me that sort of in the woods vibe. It's giving me more of a, I don't know, it's quite big too. Like maybe a bit too complicatedly big in that like, what the hell do you put down here in this? I don't know, if you're playing hide and seek, I guess it's all right, but that's quite, it feels more like a city. I don't like that tower. Can't wait to check the tower out. Yeah, there's a lot of points of entry and stuff. I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't know, I feel like a lot of people would disagree, but I do like, just in my head, there's like, sort of, as minimal doors and entrances as possible. Like, there can be a door leading to the inside and doors leading to the outside and stuff, but this just seems a bit excessive um, in terms of entrances. I like the door, it's very big. This outdoor area, even though it's big and you could entertain out here, as a falling hazard for one. Um, oh, it's a, ah, it's a slight fall, but ah, that would hurt. Um, oh, I'll put the horse in there. All my cars. Um, we can't get cars here, that'd be cool. That'd be weird though. Yeah, it'd definitely take you out of the fantasy world. Um, yeah, I don't, and, and if you get drunk and smash your head on here, concussion, there's just a lot of things that could go wrong. And it feels very, feels very, what's the word? I don't know, a bit stale. Feels not as organic as I'd like. A lot of stone. Oh, it's very dark in here. Oh, I already hate this. It's a maze. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay. Is it a loop-de-loop? -loop? Okay. I mean, the loop is cool, but once again, I've got to fill all this stuff up and who's going to ever sort of loop? Like, you would definitely just come here to this room. There's no real reason to come behind here unless you maybe want some paintings and like... It's not really for me. Like, that is a huge one room. I don't like... Well, I guess you could divide it into two rooms. Do the kitchen here. Living room. Yeah. No, I'm not a huge fan. Let's go upstairs. Can't really see. Oh. Keep forgetting I have a spell for this. Just for some light. Yeah. No, no, I'm not really a fan. Wait, is that a door? Yeah. Whoa, that feels very uncomfortable. Why do they put railings in any of these places? Okay, we'll see where this leads. I mean, I can pretty much guess. Love this, like love, love, love this. This, this, this right here. I definitely want one of them in my future home, which isn't going to be this one. I love the waterfall, like that view is stunning. Like if this, this is great, just this section. Um, but the whole house, I'd never go inside. It's too big and lonely and stale and cold and bricks and damp. And I often wonder if the people next door can hear me and if they think I'm looking at real houses and I'm just being exceedingly negative and like, what houses is he looking at where he can see a waterfall? <laughs> My God, must be nice. Uh, I'm at the Forsaken Stronghold. Yes? Yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna go to the gardener house. I like that already, implying that there's gonna be a garden. Maybe some plants. Previous tenants might have been nurturing ones, so they would have taken care of the place. The gardeners were the royal family of Wayrest before every single one of them was carried off by the flu. Oh, great. Which is why this spacious and well-situated gardener house feels like it's fit for a king. Okay. Bit of a depressing backstory. Uh, doesn't have a, an outside sort of front entrance. No. That in combination with the fact that it's potentially haunted by the gardeners makes me... Um, makes me go no. Mmm, see I like snow as well, but finding a combination of snow and woods, like in waterfalls and sort of in the mountains, there's a lot of... I mean, it's like looking for a boyfriend, isn't it? There's just a lot of things to tick off, but you have to accept that everyone's unique and different and has flaws, and that's what relationships are really about, is accepting that people have flaws, but you still love them because no one's perfect. I mean, I have flaws. I'm not going to tell you what they are. I've already said that in multiple other videos. I have a half an hour video about my insecurity somewhere. No, it doesn't have an outdoor thing. And uh, like, <clears throat> it's super important to me to have um, like an outdoor section downstairs, just because I feel like I can leave the home, but I'm still in my home. 
so no, I don't like this. Put the fire on. Uh, no, no, no. This is a um, this is a spell that's attached to my armor, by the way. It um, it heals me. Like any time I cast an area of effect spell, like uh, this one, it also puts down this extra healing thing. So this is like if I put this down, which is a healing thing, it's like a double heal for me and my pet. Actually, I'll show you quickly the two sets that I use. I use um, the Necropotence, Necropotence, Necropotence set, and it adds heaps of magic. And if you have a pet. Um, it gives you like a super boost of magic if you've got five items. And then I also have... Yeah, Winter's Respite, that's it, not Reprise. And it adds uh, magic and um, yeah, this sort of casting an area effect um, will restore that amount of health every second. And it occurs every 10 seconds, but um, by the time it's run out, it's really ready to go again. So yeah, I just have a mix of those to give me 10 items of each. I'm all about healing. I don't like the, um, the idea of death, especially unexpected death, like in battle, or just that panic when you're about to die. I know it's really easy to, I can use a little stone to get me back. What are they called? Like soul gem, not stones. They're a gem. Um, I can use a soul gem to get me back, but, um, and being a wizard and also a vampire, I um, have heaps of soul gems that I refill when I kill something, but, yeah, I just don't like the idea of panicking and dying. Let's go to the house of Silent Magnifico. 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 After the death of his beloved daughter, so-and-so retired uh, and never spoke again. Spending his last days playing endless games. Same. Okay, this is really cool on the inside. I do note that there was no outside that I spawned into first to come into. I don't like that. This is already a no, but I love, love, love. Um, this sort of sand stone looking thing, sort of Arabian prince vibes. Um, Could you, you put lots of white it's in here? Brighter, more natural light, but yeah, it does feel a bit. Um, oh, no, no, no. Um, oh, it does sort of like I can already smell that it's a bit sandy, a bit stone, sand, um, dusty. Like as you walk around, you're probably lifting up particles and stuff. So I don't like that atmosphere. It's weird, isn't it? You can smell it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I go to this palatial hall. My ass has gone numb. The cushion didn't really work. Hunding's palatial hall. This elegant pleasure palace with its walled grounds. Okay. It's gone. Okay, we're outside, that's nice. Have a little run out the back. I see that we're going into more of a sandy biome. I love this, holy moly. I have my own beach. This is elegant. It's very Greek islands. Um, ah, ship. Come over, buddy. Actually, don't. You'll get shipwrecked. But that's good. That's like a little warning. So they could... I could see them swimming before they get here. Because if they're uninvited, that's a bit of a worry. But uh, it's okay, I'm a very powerful wizard, so. Fear me. Go away. Go away. Yeah, this is lovely, being by the water. And the outside, it's big, but I don't feel too overwhelmed because the house is in the center of it all. It doesn't have these sort of uh, tangents going off left, right, and center like that other place did, or depressions on different altitudes and stuff. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't mind that. Uh, I did notice the tower, the separate tower. Have a look. Weird that there's no... Oh yeah, okay, so it's a courtyard. That's okay. I was like, hmm, oh, I'm in this door. There would be too many doors. I guess there was a door there, so... Yeah, this is nice. Nice little courtyard. Have a barbecue out here. The view from the courtyard isn't great, though. Can't see the water. Surrounded by water and stuff, and they put all these walls up. That's disappointing. This is giving me, like, you could put your own H&M here, sort of H&M equivalent, like a gypsy caravan selling stuff. You're at the markets. So I don't know how I feel about that. It's um, less personal. Yeah, I don't like how you enter and straight away you hit an obstacle. Feels a bit closed, even though it's not. Okay. I mean, overall it's impressive. And I'll have a look at the upstairs courtyard because I want to see the water. Oh, okay, never mind. I'll look on the other side. But, um, yeah, I'm overall not feeling it. So many doors, holy shit. 
Oh yeah. Out here's nice. Like, sit down, have a cuppa, have a beer, look at the water. Tan if you can. I can't. Lucky cat landing. We're getting there. Slowly getting there. And yeah, I like this because we've looked at a lot of houses and I've, I've only written three down on my paper in front of me. So it means that the final choice won't be too hard, I hope. Who knows what's ahead though? There could be some fancy places. I like the entrance. I like the floors. I like the sunlight. I like the tree. I like this courtyard, in a way. I love the view. Love the view, very tropical. Less Greece, more Fiji. We're in Fiji now. Uh, Fiji. Is that that same boat? <laughs> Are you following me, man? If you are, I swear to God. I swear to God, I will protect my property and my loved ones. My throat hurts. I love the water feature. Yeah, this ain't bad at all. Uh, these vines and stuff. This is what I'm talking about. Like, integrate the plants. Don't just have stone. I love the red doors. Lucky cat residence. Like, it's a nice name too. Lucky cat. Ooh, love the floors. Love the wood. These windows are really cute. I like the shape of them. Um, okay, a bit mazy. A bit mazy. Where do you go first? That's a stairwell, so... Um, no, excessive amount of hallway for like room payoff, but this room is kind of cute. So like the guest bedroom maybe. Oh, the porch. That's cute, little porch for the guest. The guest porch, is that mine over there? What is that? No, I don't think it's mine. That's cute, I like that. Go out and have like a coffee with some friends in the morning or something, meet up at, I don't know, um, Gavin's Tavern and look out over the water and stuff and share stories because you haven't met up with them in six months because of quarantine but it's alright Kelsey I'm going to see you next week so we've got that to look forward to quarantine's just been sort of lifted here like the rules we can go to pubs and stuff now I'm not much of a pub person but you can go out uh, with friends and get food because we've only had one case in 26 days which is nice but still I don't really like going out too much just in general um yeah, I mean, it's okay. Lack of windows, a bit small on the inside. It's cute overall, but not giving me good vibes that I'm after. It's just not giving me the openness I want on the inside. This is a manner. A manner of fact. Oh, my ass, so numb. I'm sitting on the ground because I've got to be close to my TV. Thought it would be a fun idea to plug my computer into the TV. But um, I have wired controllers and keyboards and mouses and Mouses? Mice? And, um, yeah, I have to sort of make a makeshift lounge on the floor. My ass hurts. I've got a cushion, but it's not enough for my tushin. I've got a huge back door, if you know what I mean. Makes it sound like I have a gaping asshole. Should really call it jelly. I have a lot of jelly. Must be jelly because the jam don't shake. Must be jelly because the jam don't shake. This is huge. Okay, so an orbital path about a central house. That's okay, my mind can deal with that. And then out the back is one huge distinct place you go to. Is he panting? My God, dude, have some self-respect. You're a bloody high elf. You're a very powerful high elf. I like this, Trevi Fountain. You can tell people if they chuck money and they can make a wish and then collect their money to pay off the house. Uh, I like that red tree. That's cool. Do the trees ever change colours? Because that would be disappointing if you bought it just for the trees. Alright, I'm gonna go to the front. Like, I don't- I like this. And there's, there's not like an excessive amount of entrances and stuff, so it feels overly complicated. There's just a huge back side. <laughs> a huge, um, back place. This is cool. I love these grandiose statues. Sort of- what are they called? The- uh, gremlins, goblins, no, 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 no. Um, the gargoyles. I like the, the gargoyle feel of it. The sort of protectors of the property. Let's go in the manor. Cute. I'll definitely move these fire pits. They don't belong there. But I see what you've done. Hmm. Yeah, this is really nice. That's a bit much, though. Like, I don't know. It's just a lot of choice for going upstairs. Wow, there's a lot of fireplaces. 
Okay, it's got that thing I like where it's like got sort of unique areas that can be rooms in a way. Like, uh, hang on, that's under the stairs. <laughs> the Harry Potter under the stairs. Maybe, okay, I take all that back. I thought these were sort of divots of their own, but they're just... You couldn't put a bed under there and say, sleep there tonight. They'd be like, it's so open and cold and I feel vulnerable. Um, okay, yeah, it's got a room here, but that's a bit confusing. That kind of feels like you're almost going to the front area to go outside. Okay, the stairs lead to this upper area. I love the high ceilings. Uh, lots and lots of doors. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's feeling a bit... Mm, it's not so much like, it is open plan in a way, but it also has just so many. Is this all courtyard? Yeah, that's all right. But like, why not just have this one door? I mean, it's not too far to go from one to the other. Just have one. Um, oh, are they different courtyard? Oh, okay, they're different courtyards. I take it all back. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't want to be too critical. But I mean, it's my first house. You've got to be critical. You've got to make smart decisions. Courtyard's a bit small. I don't see a reason to come out here. It's okay. The inside doesn't really do it for me. I almost want to skip this one because it, it looks really cold and dark and stone and it, it said that it's made for on, like an orc. It's an orc's happy place type thing and I'm not an orc. I don't, I don't like orc things. I don't like, I don't like killing hobbits. I don't like eating other orcs for me. I don't like being a submissive, a, a subordinate. I don't like being told what to do. That's what orcs are. I'm more of an uh, intelligent cognitive high elf who can do magic. Lots and lots of magic. Yeah, this is okay. I like that the outdoor, like, upstairs section has a way to get up it from the front side. And, like, it's open in a way, so it feels like everything's open, but not too many entrances. I know that it... I know that... Look at it, I almost sound contradictory in some senses, but there is context. You know, there's layers and layers. Let's, let's go inside from up here. I like that too. So you can come in and you don't have to go inside the house to go to the upstairs. You can walk up the stairs and stuff. But this is, this is small. There's no guardrail here. That's really disappointing. You, ah, I fell. You know, like, Kane, why did you buy this house? I'm sorry, Fred. I will buy a better one next time. I don't want to go through that conversation with Fred. I want to choose the right house now. I just want to sort of prevent those things from happening. It is so dark. Yeah, nah. Okay, there's not too many more. Um, let's go to Miss Vale Manor by tradition. Biggest mansion on the south side of Riften. It's always called this since uh, the computer is too fast. I can never read the descriptions. Okay. Hmm. No. Feels like a barn. Feels very flammable. If there's any bushfires, and I mean, oh, there's a bit of snow. That's kind of cute. I was going to say, like, that's a perfect sort of place for a fire to come down, but the shrubbery is mostly out front. The stone would assist in uh, tempering any flames from the outside, but then, you know, from this tree, a bark falls onto this tree, fire, <clears throat> fire in the barn, my horse dies, everything lights up. I don't like that insecurity, but I will look at the inside just for completion. Okay. Okay. Nah. 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 Feels a bit small. Proud Spire Manor. I like the sound of this one. I want to be proud of my home. And this one has proud in the name. Okay, let's quickly read the blow before it goes. Many lived within solitudes, coveted Proud Spire Manor over the years, but its last owner vanished, leaving its spacious living quarters empty and available. Shelter yourself from the cold within this multi-room landmark in the heart of the solitude. Okay, cool. Last owner vanished? Uh, is that a mafia thing? Like, do they know where he, like, well, obviously, if it was a mafia thing, they know where he lives. Are they going to come back? Is this going to be a permanent thing? Is, have all the previous owners vanished before that? I need a little bit more information. I do love the inside. It's blue. It's very nice. And the squares, a sort of checkerboard feel. Doesn't feel, uh, it's nice and big, and it, it feels open plan, but like discrete sections because of these pillars, which I like. Where does that door go? The patio. Cute having a patio. Yeah, this is this is quite nice, and I love that like clothesline, and that's a nice view. It's a bit foggy. I thought it was water, but I mean it's poor viewing distance, even though it's turned up to maximum. But um, yeah, not the nicest view. 
sort of feels a bit cold outside when I look over there. That looks like ice. Are we in ice? Where are we? Oh yeah, it is ice. I can hear a dog. I love that. That's cute. So I must be like, yeah, I'm in the city. Wow. Very close to all the shops. If I want to go get a haircut. Um, actually, I do appreciate that feeling of being like close to the city, but not feeling like I'm in the city. I like that in my real life too. I have a, I love living on a farm. Um, I lived on a farm for a year and took care of an animal sanctuary. I have a beautiful video about that somewhere. Um, but being so far away, like McDonald's was 30 minutes drive and the police were a 30 minute drive and I was on dirt roads and stuff. This is in real life, um, by the way. And um, yeah, I don't know, it just feels a bit like once the lights went out and I didn't know what was happening and I was terrified and they didn't come on for eight hours. And I remember that I was just like sitting by the fire reading a book and the, the farm that I was living in, it just had windows everywhere so people could see in if they wanted to, even though I was in whoop whoop, I was excluded. Um, I was nowhere near any other houses, but I know the fact that someone could be outside just looking in and it's, and, and like, it was a huge 100 acre property and stuff and there were, there were animals in that, but they wouldn't warn me. I mean, sheep and that aren't, they, they bar all the time. I'm not going to know if it's an intruder bar, um, but I was like, there's an ax outside and like, if the, the lights went all out and I panicked and I was like, holy crap, what if there's a dude and he's found the ax and he's going to kill me? So I locked all the doors, closed the blinds as much as I could and then went into the bedroom and just got a knife. This is serious. Like I did this because um, I was, I was like, well, I can, I'll just enjoy myself in the room, not try and think about dying right now. And if someone does come in, I'm just going to have to, I'm alone. Like, and there's no one around me for ages and the police won't get here in time, I'm going to have to stab them. So I literally sat there and contemplated, like, I'm going to have to stab someone um, if they come in and try and kill me. But no one came in, and then I called my mum the next day, and she was like, oh, that was a planned outage by Electricity Australia. <laughs> they just wanted to do upgrades. And I was like, you have no idea the night that I just had. <laughs> I'm literally a stronger, better man because of it, because I've terrified myself into the acceptance of stabbing someone. But... Um, yeah, living on a farm by yourself very much makes you go through those thoughts. But yeah, I like a, sort of a farm having no light pollution in the night sky, but I do like being close to a city as well. So the, the point of all that was that this is what this is sort of giving me. Less farm, but um, secluded enough. Let's look upstairs. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Hmm. No, something about it I'm not really feeling. I don't know, just not nature enough. Like, I do like a bit of mix. I like the mud homes and that, but I don't want to live in a mud home. Um, it doesn't have much structural integrity. But I, I don't know, I guess I could fill it with plants and that, but I don't know, this is such a small thing, but you walk up here and like, this just feels a bit small. You know, you run into this rather than that just being open and maybe uh, I don't know, let's say move the rails, but I've also been complaining about how nothing has rails, but um, it just feels very like this is a weird small area just here, and then it's just like, oh, that's a bit disappointing. And, you know, you're just looking at stone. It's like, if you're going to have a sort of open thing here, um, you get what I'm saying. It's not, not the biggest... Oh, I'll look downstairs. Okay, bit of a dungeon. Oh... Not so much dungeon. I like the fireplace. It's very homely. See, I like this down here better than upstairs. It has a more cozy feel. It's not too big. Um, but it's bright and you can see everything from like just one spot in a way. That's a good way to explain what I like. Um, like I do like having rooms, but not too many rooms. So this ticks those boxes down here, but I'm still not going to take it because I don't like the upstairs. Oh, my ass is so numb. I was in this, right? The manor. So we'll look at this one. Yeah, this ain't bad. Not much natural sunlight. I can't tell if that's uh, just because, yeah. I guess if the sun's over there, we can add some other lighting. Not as much greenery as I'd like. And... I mean, is there a backyard? Because there's not much outdoor space otherwise. I like the idea of like having platforms on the outside or like spaces on the outside where you can put certain things. Like it does break up the outside so you can put your trophies. Maybe if you, I don't put trophies outside, but 
I don't know, like just, just things like a punching bag or a punching man or whatever. You just put him in a specific area and you look and you're like, that is where he belongs. Like instead of just being in a weird spot. I'm not a huge fan of this depression. I know it's meant to be a fire pit and I do like the fire pits, but in the center of the room with little space uh, before hitting it when you enter, I'm not a big fan of that. I like the circle. There's an upstairs, downstairs and yeah, this room's all right. Yeah, I like uh, uh, the room. It doesn't feel... It's good to have symmetrical rooms, so your brain only has to sort of process one bit of information rather than two. It doesn't feel as complicated. And this is interesting. I like that the rooms are all the same as well, in a way, like shaped the same. And this one's on top of that one below because just you understand the house much quicker and you don't get lost. So yeah, it's pretty... Uh, there's four rooms. Um, they're symmetrical on top of each other, same shape. This staircase feels very small though, and this, this sort of space here feels small. Obviously you've got to put something here. This is very much like, Reginald, Reginald, come bring me my tea. Like you'd stand here with a bell. Maid, nurse, someone. But I'd probably want to put something there. So this is the downstairs area. And it's just very dark. Nah, this is not big enough. Was there an outside, like a backyard? I know it was a front yard, but... Uh, not even like a patio, a veranda. No, okay, yeah. It's all right. It's a no. These do look all right. I'll make it quick, I promise. I mean, I don't even know if you care. It's just that this video is going for a very long time, but I expected this. And that's kind of what gaming streamers do. They just go on forever. Sleek Creek House cute name. All I can think about though is how this is going to be a nightmare to edit. I have a, like an old, like a seven year old MacBook Pro and it does the job. I only edit on the Mac because Final Cut Pro is so much easier than like Adobe Premiere. Um, my Windows PC, which I'm on now, is like a supercomputer. I bought it to play games on it, like high res and stuff. Um, and it's awesome. But yeah, Ad Ad Adobe Premiere, I really tried to get used to it and I just couldn't um, Final Cut Pro just makes things so easy and intuitive. So I still edit on my seven-year-old Mac, even though I have this super computer here that could... And, like, the Mac freezes, and it's not letting me put, like, audio clippets... Clippets? Audio clips in at the moment? Snippets. <laughs> clippets. That's so cute. It's like when people say stummy instead of, like, stomach or tummy. My stummy. Um, yeah, every time I tried to put, like, an audio clip in or something, um, it was like, there's not enough memory. And I'm like, you have eight gigs of memory left. What, what's going on? Um, so it's just, it's getting really complicated freezes. So this is an hour long video or something, or it's gonna be two hours of footage. So I know it's gonna freeze and it's gonna be a bitch to edit, but that's okay, it's okay. No pain, no gain. When I'm rich and famous, I can buy a brand new Mac. Okay, I love this outdoor area. Feels very much like we can have a little party out here and it's not too far away from everything. I like the water. Can't really swim. That's all right, if you wanna have a little splash, splash around. Oh, did I notice a swimming spot? I just wanna see if it's deep enough in any area to trigger a swim, nah. That's all right, have a little splash, have a little creep, have a little splash, splash with your friends. It's a really hot day, splash around, splash around, put the kids out here. You gotta be careful though, kids can drown in this water. It's not shallow. It's not deep, but it's not shallow. I wish this was open, at least, maybe, so you could see what was on the other side, because it looks like it would be beautiful. That's disappointing, not knowing what could have been. Um, and it's also a bit prison-y. Feels a bit like a prison. But I get it, these are old times, and it's, that's sort of the norm, in a way. And they did that so they could bring the water in downstairs. Oh, my voice just broke. Okay. Uh, nah. <laughs> it's not really a beach. <laughs> I love that, those waterfalls, they're cute. That looks like um, this waterfall in Iceland. Um, I don't even, I'm not gonna explain it because there's so many waterfalls in Iceland. Um, you come up here and that's a bit disappointing. It just sort of sounds like I found a place, like a nice place that no one else in the world has found yet, but I had to settle um, because I didn't have enough money to live in the nice city or something or in a nice place with a beach. And I just found water and I was like, that'll do. But this gypsy house, like, I love that. I don't like it when it's too much stone and stuff. I like the sort of Weasley house feeling. Wow, it's very small in here. I mean, gypsy is right. Oh, wow. 
god, what the hell? <laughs> it's like nothing when you come out here. It's like, oh, there we go. <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure this is a fall. Yep, fall hazard. Okay. Not that it matters, like, I'm kidding about it. I don't really care too much about the fall hazard, but that's ridiculous. Are you kidding me? It's like they went, okay. Um, once again, like, I really like the idea of having an outdoor area, but we have no money or space or whatever. Um, so we're just going to do that. <laughs> so technically there is an outdoor area. But in the pictures it looked bigger. Alright, that's cute, but no. Ooh, we get to go to my favourite steam moist mansion. I do kind of want to get it just for the name. I love the name. Where do you live? Stay moist. Yeah, I always do, but where do you live? Mm, stay moist. <laughs> And then mansion, so it balances the name out. It's not some dirty brothel, like stay moist, just stay moist. That'd be a weird, just like on its own. Um, stay moist, stay moist. If you say it fast, like it's one word, people might not even know what you're saying, stay moist. But having mansion after it gives it more of a classy feel, like stay moist, uh, mansion. Wow, okay, it's a mansion. Oh, I love the tropical trees. I love the outside. So we haven't had a place like this in a while and I felt like in the beginning there was a lot of them, so. I'm glad that we saw these in the beginning, these types of places, because I really, really like it. Um, having all of this greenery on the outside. It is a bit sort of rocky and um, it's not flat in a way. So putting things in places might be annoying. Like how would you decorate this area? You don't have to decorate it, but if there was maybe like a platform here or an area to put a barbecue and a, uh, like my trophies, my outside trophies, we've. Obviously, I've decided internally that trophies go on the outside, even though they, they don't. They'll rust. The copper will turn blue, green. Yeah, I like this delineated space. It's a stable, is it? Uh, put the horse there, mud home, kind of looks like a big turd. Um, it's just these grooves with the color that definitely looks like a healthy poo. Okay, I like the orange plants. We're moving back into the vibes that I like, but the big poo um, with Stay Moist. Okay, I'm gonna interrupt that thought because this is gorge. I do like this. It is a big area to fill though. It's hard to sort of break up this into like a sort of a kitchen, a dining, a lounge room, a toilet area, or just different areas in the Elder Scroll world, not like real life houses. Um, what's in here? Oh, okay. That's yeah, a bit weird. I don't know, I thought it'd be stairs. If it was stairs, I'd be all right, because like, why wouldn't you go on top of the big poo and have a look around? Um, be like a big fly and a big poo. Um, but yeah, okay, there's a few things in here I'm just not a big fan of, but it's, it's reminded me and it's excited me again of the ideas of nature. So, there's the big poo. Strident Springs. I like the name. Doesn't look like the outside is very natural, but that's all right. Oh, I'm gonna move again. I feel like I'm never gonna regain feeling in my ass again. And that's not good for a gay man. The ass is half of what we are. Half of what we use to have fun. <laughs> the other half's on the other side. Bloody men. All I can think about is sex. Okay. Oh, this one has its like own private waterfall. Oh, that's annoying. I was about to say that I wasn't... Oh. Because, like, it's it's a Mediterranean vibe, which isn't... It's okay on the outside, and there are sort of sections. Like, you can put something there. Maybe something here. Um, so, even though it's big, uh, it is more flat, and there's sections, and it doesn't feel complicated. Sort of like this is one area here. I don't know if there's something behind the rocks, but... And then over here, the waterfall, like, holy moly, you could definitely put, a, like, a beach chair here. Oh, fishing. Kids can go for a swim. It's like a private beach. Listen to that. Wow. Like, I can already see this for me. I can see me doing this all the time. Sunshine. See myself relaxing here after a long day at work. So that is a huge plus. There are things uh, I like a lot about this outside space. I can live with the Mediterranean. In fact, it might complement it. I guess I can put some other plants. I don't know, I don't know. I haven't bought furniture or I don't know how to decorate. I've never decorated. Can you get plants and put other plants in? I'm sure you can. I think I saw like a tree pack in the crown store. 
So with my leftover money, I can buy some trees and just put trees around. Be a forest creature. Okay, and where's your furniture? Oh, I'm sorry, sleep in a tree. Um, I like this outdoor section. Once again, it feels like I can definitely put something in places, like put something there. Um, and I, I don't have to... And you, and you approach it and you know what's happening in the world. You know the space already. As soon as you see it for the first time, a friend comes over, they're like, okay, I understand this space. It's a big circle. Um, there's no weird spots or anything. It's nicely um, bordered by these rocks and the rocks, it makes it feel warm. I like the orange, reminds me of Australia. These plants are very Australia too. I like these ferns. I have one of these in my real house, actually. It's got a nice just back door. Everyone loves a nice back door. Um, I don't see any veranda, but that's okay because the view wouldn't be great. Just rocks. I think we get the idea. It's very rocky. Okay, but yeah, no, I do, I do like that. I do like it a lot. I feel like I understand the house already in my head. It's not too complicated. I love that waterfall. Every time I see it, it just reminds me. It reminds me of what freedom feels like and what kind of life I want to live. So I think I'm going to write this one down. The inside's a bit dark. I do wish that this open bit extended here, like all of that was open and then boarded up there with rails because I like rails, we know this, I like safety. I like to live on the edge a little bit, but not too close to the edge, I don't want to fall off. Um, but I could definitely light this up, I wish there was yeah, not necessarily more windows, but maybe natural light. It's not too complicated, there's room. I like the L shape, you can just put like a bed in here and then a Xbox over here or something, a little play section. I like this center area. Maybe some bookshelves or something, little home library, very sophisticated. And it's not too complicated. I already understand the downstairs, but it's big enough to not feel too closed. Yeah, this is okay. This is okay. Put a statue of me there. And this upstairs section. Yeah. Okay, the rooms are sort of the same. L-shaped rooms, I like that. So you got one room, two rooms. This is like more like a bathroom size. Uh, another bathroom. I'm gonna put two bathrooms right next to each other. Take your pick. I just possibly can't. I possibly can't. Left or right, give me one. Um, yeah, okay, so you come up, you got a room there, two bathrooms, and that's it. So... There's not much sort of, it's not really open up here, like, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be nice to sort of knock these walls down maybe and just make that all open. Or maybe leave that room and knock these walls down. I know I can't do that though. Can you, imagine if you could knock walls down in here. If I find out that you can knock walls down, I am just going to be ecstatic. I'm going to be a happy little kangaroo. So this is nice. It's, I'm going to write it down. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's been a while, but I'm going to write it down. Only because that waterfall, like, that is how much I love, one, waterfalls, but two, my own waterfall. So for that simple reason, what was it called again? Wow, 1.28 mil. Alright, I have enough crowns, they were approaching my budget. Whoa, this is called Strident Springs. Demesne? Demesne. Dems, um, uh, uh, pr uh, private waterfall. That's a big tick. Um, uh, okay, inside can work with this. And um, I'm, I'm just gonna write like love, love the outside, which is super important. I'd probably spend most of my time outside. So if anything, it'd be cute to have like a big manageable outside that I love, love, love. And like a sort of, I wish I could put the gypsy house maybe here instead of that house and uh, obviously expand the um, patio of the gypsy house, but just like a more appropriate thought out gypsy house in the center. So it's like a Weasley house with a waterfall and uh, I don't know, that's just, that would be cool. But I'm gonna rate this one maybe a 7.5 out of 10. I'm putting ratings down as well. Okay, let's move on. So much to say, so little time in the day. Okay, we're getting close to the real spency ones, which makes me a bit... <laughs> it makes me think that I've just wasted time with all these, because I feel like I'm going to find one of these and be like, well, that's just amazing. But actually, I can't afford that. I can't afford that. I can't afford that, that, that. Oh, 
That looks really good. Okay, so I've only got one, two, three that I can afford down there. So, so overall, I've got six houses left. So we'll go to the ample dom domicile, domicile. Is that a real word? <laughs> I think the description was like a quote. <laughs> Hang on, I'll see if it comes up. Like someone like Oprah's come in and, and reviewed it. This house is a good house. Plenty of room for Gua. Palisade is strong to keep Gua from straying. Who the fuck is Gua? And many Gua can feed in the garden. Very good, yes. Esku will come in to visit often. I don't like that. You can't stay here, Esku. This isn't an Airbnb. Wow. Okay, that's cute. I love this out outdoor area. Not as big as the last place, so... It's also quite swampy. Uh, I can feel that, like, I can f it sort of feels like when you go to the beach and there's seaweed and stuff and you can feel the moss and I hate that feeling. So this, I don't think I would ever come in this area or swim around here. It just makes it look like I haven't cleaned my place or like, you know, I need to oxygenate this water maybe and filter it. Oh, it's pretty clear. It just looks dirty from the, from the distance. Lily pads, cute, could have some frogs. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling this one. Also, what the hell? That is so breakable. Someone could easily come and raid. And it's another poo. This one looks a little bit less healthy than the other one. Bit of a nugget. Poo. <laughs> um, okay. It almost looks like there's an upstairs, but there's no stairs, so it's not an upstairs. I don't like this. I hate this. This is not worth the price. Are you kidding me? I mean, yeah, maybe it's someone's cup of tea. Definitely not my cup of tea. Especially if you're thinking about a big nugget in your cuppa. <laughs> okay, that's enough about nugs. Uh, Gorina, Gorina, unique. I don't like it when I can't pronounce my house. Gorina Estate. The Gorina family, a uh, cadet branch of the Royal Camoran line, has fallen on hard times and had to sell their palatial Cormount home. This, the season's turn, luck changes, and their loss is your gain. It may, it, it, it might be. It might very well be. We'll say. I don't know how judgmental. Wow, okay. I love the greenery. This outdoor set is amazing. It was funny, I was actually gonna go pee before I came and reviewed this one, but now I just wanna run around a little bit. Pee in real life. Um, yeah, I really like this outdoor, all the greenery and stuff, but there's not much flat space to put stuff on. Uh, but that's okay, I haven't seen it all yet. Um, this is nice, kind of feels like you're in a forest, a home away from home in a way, but secure within your walls, so you can't be ambushed when you're most vulnerable. Looks a little bit like a city, like an alien city. It's cute that it has a granny flat, I think I can see over there, like a second house. Uh, I really hate this, like, walking into a pod, and then, like, it's just a pod, it's not the house, and then, oh, here are the houses. Like, it is kind of cute, I think, if you decorated it, but maybe make the doors a bit bigger. It just feels really claustrophobic. Like, do I really want to go in there? All right. Okay, so this is the granny flat. So let's have a look at that, because we're down here. Ah, uh, it's a tent. Uh, I, don't like, I don't like that whole tent thing. And these, it's so small on the inside, but it's a granny flat. I haven't looked at the real house yet. It might be bigger. But yeah, I just don't like that sort of tent thing. I don't know. There's just lots of mosquitoes in Australia and every time I go camping it's a lot of mosquitoes and stuff so it just gives me that. And I know this is ridiculous like there's no mosquitoes in the game but when you're playing like I get fully immersed and, and it just gives you this sort of feeling and atmosphere and it just doesn't feel like my home. Very small. Very small indeed. All right I'm gonna go pee and then we'll look at the other one. Okay I'm back. It's all good. I just had to have a bit of a water break too. My pee was a bit yellow. Always good to stay hydrated. It's amazing how time flies when you are just having so much fun. At least we're nearing the end and I can make a choice and get a house. I really really want a house. But I'm so happy that I have gone through them all because otherwise I just you just don't know what could have been. So the last one of this um, middle class homes is this one. I didn't see the name of it. Hang on. Melothi Riviere. This charming abode was named after the prophet Veloth who founded the surrounding town of Narsus and the Velothi mountains that rise above the walled garden at its rear. <laughs> I also have a walled garden at my rear. I need to shave. Um, okay, so once again, the sort of fire pit thing happening when you first come in, it's just like, I don't, it's such a small thing, but it's like, okay, you enter and then if you're not looking, ah, oh, Jesus, like it's hot. <laughs> so 
I don't know, I, I, I'm sure I could fix that, but this feels like a house that I have already seen. Have I seen this house? No, I don't like it anyway. I don't think I'm going to look into it too much. I sort of want to move on to the notable homes. I swear to God I've seen this one. Or this one was like the other one, except it didn't have these rooms, I think, because I remember I wanted to move the candles around. Okay, yeah, no. Um, and it doesn't have an outside thing. Okay. Wow, that was a huge disappointment. Okay, so we have uh, four more homes, including the uh, snow globe. Snow cube, ice cube. He's the rapper. He's the rapper. Did you know that little gremlin? Did you know that volatile familiar? Cold Harbor. This overlooked acreage atop a floating plateau in Molog Bowl's oblivion realm of Cold Harbor. It was a mouthful. Is available to be developed how you like. I like that. It's a secluded location, very quiet and private, even scenic. Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> oh, beautiful entrance. I love a portal. That's awesome. That just screams money and it screams wizardry. Actually, it screams, I don't need money. I have wizardry, kind of like Sauron atop his tower. Okay, so first thoughts, there's no house. <laughs> Can I build a house or is it just going to be, this is more like a museum, like a show deck museum. If I was ever rich enough, I'd probably buy, I do love those floating rocks. That's really cool. Yeah, so no, this is so blank. Like what if I just put a single chair here and I just sit here and I'm like, come in. So it's a bit intimidating, but I do like the idea of when I'm rich and famous, um, I can buy this as my, like, if I need to go somewhere and just get away from everything and anyone and the world itself, I can come here. Um, it's like a place in my mind that I can maybe put my tro I can put my trophies here. They're not technically outside. I think there's a force field there like Hogwarts. Um, so I can just put things around. Um, Actually, yeah, like that's uh, that's such a cool idea. I'd really like to decorate this, but I'm not, it's not a house. I can't invite people over to have a bevy upstairs or come have some sexy times. And um, we're doing it, you know, on this cold concrete. God, imagine the back issues. What do you think, little guy? I haven't been asking you many questions lately and I'm sorry, I don't neglect you. Here, have some power. You are the light of my life, little guy. Feed off the flames. Whee. He likes this game. We just go in circles. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on. <Whee. laughs> Genuinely looks like he's playing. Come on. Yeah. <gasps> oh, you're not going to catch me. See, this is a great little play area as well. Mm, I do like the space. But I think we both agree. You need a room. I need a room. We need a house. You need a makeover. Terrifying little thing. It's all right, mother's love uh, does not discriminate. Let's go to the third last. Moon Sugar Meadow, gotta love that name. Love, love, love that name. I like, yeah, the purple and blue in here is cool. It sort of matches everything. My white outfit looks nice in contrast to it. Ooh, okay, I like what it's suggesting here. I like what it's trying to say. Dotted with something, architectural features. This meadow provides plenty of building space. Nice and a peaceful, natural setting. Nearby streams, love that. And the light, uh, something about sun. Oh. <gasps> An actual gypsy caravan. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's just like on uh, the weekdays, I may be moonlight as a gypsy, just to escape my rich and famous life and be one of the normal people for once. Okay, I like that. I love this bridge. This looks huge. This is amazing. Oh my God, these notable homes. Oh, that waterfall. And it's like, is it pretty much mine? Yes, that's mine. I love that. It's very human. <laughs> very much like a bird finding a shiny object. That's mine. I like this. You can take a little selfie for Instagram up here. Just like, just chilling in my home. On my land. Okay, but there's... Despite all the good things, I am noticing a lack of a structure that I can call a house. And more of these temples, which give a little bit of an eerie vibe, haunted ghost vibe. Like at night, I don't think I'd want to walk out here by myself. Unless I put lots of flames. I don't, just the structure. Mm. But, oh, wow, it even has a beach. This is crazy, this is so difficult. I love the rocks coming out. Like everywhere you look, it's really interesting. And I'm sure that I can swim across and this is all mine. Like I can decorate up there or something. Can, can you build 
homes? Like, can you, I just, I don't think I have the money to buy the equipment to build a home. And if I find out that you can build them and it doesn't cost that much, I'm going to be so upset. But I will, look at that sunset, holy shit. This is just ticking every box that I want for the outside, like absolutely every box. Because it's not too overly complicated, like it's huge and it's a little complicated, but there's a clear sort of this delineated paths marked by the stone and like the water itself is just an area that you can set aside in your brain. Like if you go out into the water, you're in the water and you're not in this space anymore, if that makes sense. A lot of temples, so many temples. Can I go inside this? <gasps> oh, I thought it was a door. No. I don't think I want to live in a temple, but oh my god, another waterfall. Like, this is fucked up how good this is. Listen to that. Oh, feed me. Feed me. Spray on my face. Wow. Yes, daddy, that is awesome. And it's all mine. <laughs> it could be mine for the low, low price of 6,400 crowns. Actually, if I tick the furnished option, um, oh, you can't, no, it's too expensive. Oh no, oh no, there's no furnished. I know that's been there the whole time, by the way. I just like to look at it because I don't really like the way they furnish them. It's no, um, it's no criticism of the developers in any way. I could never build structures that look this cool, but it's not the way I want my house to be every time I look at it. Um, so yeah, this is just like a 10 out of 10, but there is no house and I can't sleep outside. And I'm almost sure that there's gotta be a way to build a house, but I do not wanna buy it and then realize that I don't have enough to build a house because I, I want a house now. <sighs> That's so good though. And the name, Moon Sugar. What did it say at the end too? Nearby streams gleam the light of sun and moons. Wow, enhanced in this idyllic getaway. It really is idyllic. And everything written there is true and more. Okay, Stillwater's Retreat is the last one in the noble homes that I can afford right now. Once again, if I'm rich and famous, this one might um, contrast my wizard tower as a little getaway, like my own Bahamas, like if I was Oprah and had an island. I just want to be the Oprah of Elder Scrolls. Is that too much to ask? Um, getting snow vibes here. Icy fortress vibes. Oh, okay. No outside. Well, okay. But this is huge. So let's just have a look first. So you walk in and it's like, boom. Very open plan. I love that. These are the rooms that aren't exactly rooms that I was talking about that I like. There's enough space to make it a room um, that it doesn't intrude on this um, at this space here, but it doesn't have like doors or anything. So you can walk and you see everything as you're coming in. So nothing's sort of hidden away. Like everything that you put up and put care in, into for the aesthetics is visible for the open world. And then boom, my own ice skating rink. <laughs> hey guys, come over, you won't believe it. <laughs> yes, bring your ice skates, I'm serious. Um, this is really cool and so many places to put stuff. Um, okay, so it's a bit of a... Uh, okay, uh, let me have a look at it all first. But I'm having some initial thoughts. One being that the house is... I mean, it's big enough. And it, I can make that feel homely, but it, it is just one huge room. Like, the house is just one huge room. There's no upstairs, downstairs. Like, all the rooms are open and joined. So I don't know how I feel that I don't have my own private space in there. Like, if my friends come over and stay and have a party or whatever, like, there's never... This looks like someone was shipwrecked, got stranded, and then was abducted, but recently, because the fire's still going. It's a bit scary. This is really cute, though. I love this. Can definitely come chill over here and just brrr, get out of the cold. I'm trying to, I'm trying to crouch. Brrr. And you're just going to love it, aren't you? I'm going to give you a name. I don't want to keep saying volatile familiar. Doesn't sound cute. Oh, you want to play again, do you? Wee! <laughs> yeah, around the fire. That's very safe. No, I'm going to teach you a good lesson. Actually, I think you're immune to fire. So I know you do you. I'm not going to be a helicopter parent, but I do love this icy fortress. And I have a feeling. Oh, 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 I see. Okay, yeah, there is way more. <gasps> this is gorge, like hashtag. 
gorge. I love the colors so much. Blue just brings me peace. But like, I love this little underground sort of uh, temple. What's, what's that sunken city called? You know, the famous one? I don't know. Um, oh, I wish I could remember it. I'll know it once I see it, but it reminds me of that. Just like a sunken city, even like Little Mermaid sort of aerials down there. She comes and speaks to me from time to time when I'm at my most desperate. So I could put something cute there, maybe a candle or like a statue. I haven't decided yet. So this is nice. This is a cool, like, sort of none of my friends when they come over would know about it. They'd have to come find it. So if I really want to get away and pretend I'm not home or like, I know there's like Mormons at the door or something, then I can just come over here and I know I'm safe and secure and hidden away in my own. I could write a book. I could write Harry Potter, the next Harry Potter down here right music who knows yes yeah, so i love this open area it doesn't have as much greenery as i like but it's definitely ticking the water box the ice box uh it doesn't have a waterfall which is a shame but glaciers i mean they're pretty cool too and maybe i can buy a waterfall or make one that'd be really sick if i could do that i could put my own greenery like i do like saturated colors these pine trees are very cool though it's kind of like i'm in canada or something so yeah i love this outside section and i don't know if i can I still don't know how I feel about, like, this just being the one room to rule them all. Um, and also sort of, like, no outside area at the front. I know the outback's huge, but, like, when you first enter my home, there's no sort of fun bit out the front. Uh, this is so difficult. Let's have a look at the snow globe. And I swear to God, if the snow globe is it... <laughs> Then we went on a very fun journey together. Wish I had more money. <laughs> Demi all. But I'm not gonna buy crowns just so I can buy a video game house. And I just, I'm not in the mood to wait. Like, it's just like, you know, you gotta live within your means type thing. And I mean, I could save up, but I've been saving for a long time and I feel like playing the game now. Okay. And also, if I do get the snow globe, um, it's only 4,200 crowns, so I have some money left over to decorate with. That's a very important point. Okay, I do love this. I love the snow wisp that I came in on. That's really cool. And it's like, when your friends come over, <laughs> I keep saying when my friends come over, but um, we know that's not gonna happen. But when your friends come over and they're like, I don't wanna leave, they stumble out a bit drunk after too many, and say this into the wisp, my friend, find the wisp. The wisp will take you home. Um, and I do like, that it has some water, some ice and some water, good mix. Makes splashing sounds, Woo! The kids can come out here and they get a sort of a full lifestyle in a way. They can both swim in the icy cold water, which will teach them mindfulness and meditation from a young age. I mean, the Icelandic people are very healthy people and they have ice baths all the time. I don't know, I couldn't do it. I tried, um, no, I didn't try. But like when I was in Iceland, I went to the hot springs and I, there was an ice bath one and I saw so many people getting in it and I was like, mm -mm, like that looks good for you. And you look super healthy and fresh and young, but I'm not doing that, it's too cold. Um, I do like, yeah, this sort of outside bit where I can put stuff. Um, it's sort of away from the home as well, like a private area and doesn't feel overly complicated, but big, as I always say, because these rocks serve as a really good border to sort of trim these icy areas um i like that and you you once you arrive here it's like okay i go that way or that way nice and easy and it's very uh visible where to put stuff and where not to like this is a cute little platform and that's a nice platform my goodness are you all right mate are you excited i think he likes this one that's a good sign actually i don't think i've heard him make that sound that um viscerally before i like this gold i know i'm in a snow globe <laughs> <laughs> I like the gold and oh my god that looks like Hogwarts that's cool uh, I'm on a table wow that is such cool detail I'm not sure if I like the idea of being in someone's house on a table but I like the idea that this is maybe my house and I'm a wizard so um, this is like I'm safe in here and they don't know I'm in here but I did see an episode of Charmed where this happened and then someone took the thing that they were in so you're not very safe but I'm a, a very powerful high elf as well so I can defend myself um, so anyway, yeah, I do like this outside area. Oh, I love these wisps. They're very nice. Like, it's like there's just wind in this one spot, which is very magical and ethereal. Fuck, I knew I'd like the snow globe a bit too much. And it's got like, okay, let's, let's be a bit more judgmental. 
Oh, I do like the stable. That's a nice stable. And it's obviously a stable too. Like, that's cool. I know how to decorate that. You know what it is. I can put my horse in there. My horse is on display for everyone. Yeah. I'm in this outside area. Maybe put some plants and a fire pit and like some chairs here and here, just like a barbecue. This is the nice, yeah. And like, you're on a deck, like pretty much like on a, um, a jetty in a way as well. You can't put a jet ski. Well, you could, not very practical, but you could put a jet ski down there. But the point is that it's like bordering water, which feels freeing in a way and just like open and, and luxe. And it just feels very like big, but secure. Like talk about high ceilings or in a fucking snow globe, but it feels very secure. Like I'm safe in here. This is my place. I know exactly where the boundaries are. So the outside is very good. And I'm hating how much I'm loving this. Like, look at all that. That's so nice, all the water. There is a lot of different sections, but at least they're boarded away. So I know that there is this perimeter around the house and then there's a perimeter around the perimeter of the house. So you would circle each independently, which makes it feel less complicated. Um, okay, so... Outside is good. I can definitely work with this. I wonder if I can ride my horse around here. Let's go inside. So there's an entrance there. So there's one entrance, two entrance. Stop panting, you big pussy. Three entrances. Okay, three is not too bad. So, and it kind of makes sense with how big this is. They're not weird sort of stairs like the other houses had and stuff where it was like, oh my God, does this go inside or to some weird other spot? Like this obviously goes in the house and it's, you could be running around and you're like, I just want a door. I just want a door right now. And like having too many doors would be annoying, but this is enough doors. This one's a bit close to the entrance though. I won't probably put that further around so they're more evenly distributed, but that's okay. Can't change that. Let's go to the interior, nice and simple. Okay, okay. All right, it's a, bit, it's a bit small, it's cute. It's a bit small, but it is very open. And I like that. It's got railings. We know how much I love railings. It's got a fire, love that. And I can make this a cozy little riding area. I wish I could get those green lamps. They're very magical. And I see another door. I'll look at that in a second. So you go up here. And, oh, another door. Stable yard. Interesting, interesting. Okay, there's a lot of doors, but I guess they all, it makes sense. It's not too overwhelming because you can see everything in one view almost, which I like. And then, okay, you go up here and there's a tower. Okay, okay, let's, let's, um, okay. Let's work from the bottom up. Let's go to the cellar bed chamber. Cersei, <laughs> Cersei, okay. So this is cute and nice. It's not too big. I like the wood. I like that uh, with the flames. It makes it more homely, less dungeony. Cellar's a bit. Um, rear courtyard. Okay, so where does that come out? Okay, so it comes out of that. Okay, okay. I don't mind that. Okay, that makes... Is that the... Which door is that? Where's the front of the house? Okay, so that's the one at the, the more back of the house. Okay, so mentally that works. Because the other door's like on the other side, but closer to the front door. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound so stupid. Okay, so I do like this. Yep. Okay, I think I'm settling on this snow globe because, god damn it, because it's just ticking all the boxes. And once again, I'm so happy and I hope you're not mad that I went through every single house and then just bought the first one that was there that I didn't look at <laughs> first. Um, I didn't actually mean that, I didn't do it on purpose, but we're coming to a nice resolution. Okay, tower is cute. Jeez, visibility is quite low here, isn't it? But I... Okay. It looks a bit low pixel when you're looking out, but I guess in reference to it being a snow globe, you're like, I can accept that. And it does give you sort of, like there is a big world out there feeling. Like this is just your safe home, but you're not claustrophobic. You're not stuck here. You're not isolated. You can go outside. But if you want to see the big world, maybe go to New York and try and start in Broadway or something. Just like fulfill one of your dreams. You can do that. I like this fire. And I like the little detail of it being boarded with these sort of reflective... What are they? It's like wood. That's interesting. It's like three draw bridges put in the really wrong spot. The dude who designed it took an acid tab before he designed it. But that's cool. I like that. It's like unique and different. I like when you have to take a second, but you're interested and like curious. It's not like, oh, that's ugly. I don't want to look at it. It's like, what is this? Be on this side, very nice and reflective, sort of metallic look. Lustrous, I would say, lustrous. Okay, so that is that. 
And I think there was another place to go, wasn't there? But I like that if there's like a few different places, stable yard. Okay, yep. All right, well, that's not too overwhelming. I like that it goes straight to the stable. That makes sense. And yeah, calling that area the stable yard's really good too. So that big patch is already defined. So there's less, it's not super overwhelming. When you look at it, it is the stable yard. It has to be. All right, let's come back in the interior this way. And this uh, is, okay. Oh, I see. So there's a front door there and a front door there, like a back front door pretty much, both to the interior. All right. Um, oh, I just wish the inside was a little bit bigger, just a little bit, but I think overall, like I can grow here and I guess I can put stuff in the cellar. It'd be cute maybe if that wasn't a door, like this was just open and then it went into the cellar. But, you know, that's okay. I think I can work with this. The outside's really good. It ticks a lot of boxes. I don't have a waterfall, but... I mean, uh, in combination with the fact that I'll be saving money by getting this compared to the real fancy places with the big waterfall and that, and I can actually decorate it and get started so it's not just a hollow piece of land. Um, that's, a, that's a plus. Okay, I start here um, and I start my journey to fame. And then when I get enough money... Um, which is encouraged by the motivation that this place gives me to be my best self so I can then inspire others um, and make money in a positive way and head on my journey in that direction. That means I'll have money to buy the, the wizard place that I like, the little the place for you and me, you know what I mean, where we were having all the fun um, to put my trophies. And then also when I get super rich and super famous, when I hit the super level, I can get the um, outside nature waterfall big area that I was obsessed with. So I think that's a good plan. I think it's good to be pragmatic, like ambitious, but pragmatic. So I think this is the one, guys. I think this is the fucking one. Hell yeah. But actually, let's buy it. Let's buy it together. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. So I will have some money left, which is good. Let's, let's just not even think about it. Let's just confirm it. Okay, that was the sound of my money leaving my wallet and hitting the floor. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, maybe I can just quickly check then if you can also build. I'm going to find out all these things that are going to make me regret buying this probably and not buying the actual... Um, ultimately, I wanted... What? Okay, hang on. Ultimately, I did want the big outdoor greenery with the two, three thousand waterfalls and you could swim and like that was just, I mean the temples are a bit creepy but I did love that one. Like that would have been the one if I had enough money left over from that to build slash if I also knew you could build a house. So I'm, I've, I've made peace with the fact that I can't have that one and that's okay and this one will suffice. Um, oh, that's, <laughs> that's some stupid, really claustrophobic room that I got from the game. Okay, what's different now that I own it? It looks so good. Oh, now that I've actually purchased it and it is mine, I actually really, really like it. Um, housing editor. See, I've never, ever used this before. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I can put my horse in the stable. Oh, I have like three as well. Oh, I can fill the stable. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Hey boy. Oh, it's so much more fun to think about putting him in places he doesn't belong though. Talk about animal cruelty. It's freezing down there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Eating the wood. You've merged with the house. You like it, boy. That's good. I want all my pets to like it. Oh, okay. I think I'm messing with the angle. That's what's happening. Oh, there's even more. Co oh, okay. Okay. Wow. All right. We <laughs> Bit of a drunk. That's kind of funny, actually. He's... Oh my god. Oh, no way. He's just like super chill and just like leaning, just waiting, enjoying the snow. What's this linking thing? To link child objects, select your parent object. When moving a parent's children will move as well. Okay, that's cool. Grouping objects, I'll confirm that. Ah, oh, you are, you are a good boy. <laughs> All right, let's put another horse. Um, what's your story gonna be? You look really noble. I'm gonna just put you in the center. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, you're floating. No, I don't like that. How do I fix you? Precision edit. Um, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cute. Wee! You can never leave. 
Imagine how long you'd have to be standing there for that to actually have happened, though. It's like, dude, move once in a while. Okay, that's cute. I like that. I don't even think I need to precision edit him. Like, that makes sense. Like, his hooves are a bit in the ground, but he's nice and solid. And he's just in a relaxed pose. Got his hooves out, like he's doing a stretch. It's cute that we can decorate this together. All right, now you... Can you lay down? Can you... Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> look at these looking like, what are you doing? What the fuck? Why do they get to stand up? But look at this nice patch of snow. Does he look dead though? I don't want to look like I have a dead horse. Like then it looks like I've just bought heaps of horses because I'm just okay with them dying and I don't want to take care of them. So maybe you can also chill. Oh, I can probably put you out front actually. That's a cute idea. Just like he's just been out for a ride or something. Or oh, they're free range. Like they can do whatever they want. So that's a good implication. I don't want to leave too much to ambiguity. Who knows what rumours will spread about the way I treat my creatures. Whee! Oh, can you go on top? Oh my god. Okay, second thought, second thought. Protector of the realm. Does the hoof off look good? Hoof off or on? Probably on. That'd be uncomfortable. Imagine standing there with one leg off a cliff, like constantly reminding yourself not to jump, not to jump, not to jump. Oh, I can hold it down. Oh my god. <laughs> Round and round the merry-go-round, round and round the merry-go-round. <laughs> it gets very claustrophobic in the snow glare. <laughs> that looks fucked up. I guess I'm being silly, because what I can do now, what I've realised, is I can do this, but then use the precision edit. Okay, I get, I get what you're doing, developers. I do appreciate it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's kind of cute. I think I'm going to put his hooves so they're just above that, maybe. Yeah, I love that. Okay, that's cool. But now I do need to move this one. Sorry, sorry. I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done. Mm, you're floating. Yeah, that's cool. That looks so relaxed. <laughs> Lighting. Does it cost money? Oh, retrieve. Wait, what? Retrieve from where? Oh. Oh, wait. Can I pick up stuff? <gasps> oh, I see. I see. Okay, so I can use the stuff. I love that you're coming. <laughs> Just like coming on this brain journey with me. Okay, okay, I can move stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have a lot of fun here, actually. It's a few hours that I can waste in here, maybe a few days. Um, structures, okay, so you can, can you build a house though? Like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I would not have had enough crowns left to build an actual house in the, um, sorry, another burp, in the, oh, that's cute. I love the blue. Yeah, I can do heaps with this stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't have had enough crowns to build on the nature strip. So I am happy with my choice. I've got enough money to have some fun now. All right. Thank you so much for watching, if you've gotten to this bit. Um, this is going to be such a bitch to edit, but I'm excited to actually do something that I really enjoyed. Um, I do get gaming guilt because I got it from uni because anytime I would be gaming, I would just have this panic monster voice in my head like... You should be studying, you should be studying. Um, if you fail, it's on you. If you don't get a HD, it's on you. Yeah, I've never really lost that because I always feel like if I'm gaming, I could be doing more important things in my real life. But I'm also trying to forge the idea in my mind that it's not always good to be busy and doing things. Um, it's good to turn your mind off and reset and maybe fall into a fantasy world, a daydream. And then you'll build up your mental battery to resume normal life and succeed in the ways you want to. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to leave you with. Oh my god, I love that. I'm already going to... I'm going to buy that. I'm definitely going to buy that. That'll add some real cool magic and colour. You can do so much. I'm, like, thoroughly impressed right now. And I just feel like this is a new game. And I wish that crowns didn't cost real money. Because... Ooh! Lance. Oh, conservatory. Oh, what did... Oh, I just skipped right past that. Okay, I get it. Yep, I would have come in and been like, that's not plants. But it, it makes sense. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, this is so beautiful. They even glow. Like, and I have 4,000, I'm so happy that I actually have money to spend because now I can just really pick some cool items that don't cost too much. I am a happy chappy right now, a happy, happy, happy boy. And you, my boy, you, my boy, are gonna love this place. All right, thanks so much, everyone. I'm definitely gonna go now. I don't know if anyone's gonna get to this stage, but it was a good video. All right, bye.